Okay. Egba. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm not. Like I'm to. I'm not. Can you see it? Okay. You started it already. Yeah. 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 Can you hold this? It's just a microphone. Oluwaranti, Olaniyo, Ogutsoye. I come from from the south, which is um, Yoruba, Ogu State, Abekuta. Yes, we're very accommodative, friendly, like the way. In my hometown, you know, um, in my house, the way this place is, is so different, like Africa. Africa, you know, if you come out from the house, there is, you will just sit in the front of your house, mm -hmm. which you see children playing up and down, and there is a traffic, yeah. but well, not in the streets. Okay. It's on the high roads, mm -hmm. yeah, and... The way they do the parties, you know, if you have a naming ceremony, we do the parties in the front of our house. That is how it used to be. And what else? You know, if you are born here, the phone you have is different. And if you are born in Africa, the phone is different. From home, nothing. 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 So, because they have everything here, we tell them we... Um, the good things, their projects, how we live in peace, how we behave, how we speak to each other. Yeah, they have to see it in us because there is a lot of difference how we behave here and there. Yeah, a good attitude, a very good attitude, disobedience. Say thank you for everything, please. Live in peace, of course. Giving you things, you have to appreciate everything and you know how to speak to people. I'm from a lot of places, but I guess I'm from, I mean, I'm from Beirut, from Lebanon. Yeah. I did bring an, an aerial photograph that I took of Beirut that I, that I hung in my bedroom. But it wasn't by nostalgia, it was just a nice photo. Right? It's an old, worn out photo that I took with an old cannon from the airplane. Uh, of, it's a kind of an aerial view of, uh, of the city, of a part of the city, the sea. And it's kind of, it's, uh, it's, it's an, it was a sepia film. So it's all kind of worn out and just, it's kind of an abstracted aerial view of, of, of the city. Um, and I, I put it on my bedroom wall with, um, with an image underneath it, uh, a postcard of Louise Bourgeois' hands. Um, so for me, it was a reminder of, of uh, my writing about the city. Uh, what did I take back? Um, well, I mean, I left, a, I, left an, I left my flat here, so <clears throat> I left a lot of things. What did I take back is harder. Um, I took back um, a little bottle of uh, room spray that my flatmate had given me that we used to spray around the house. It's empty, but I kept the bottle. Um, so I smell it sometimes when I miss my house. <laughs> so that's, so I think in going back to, I mean, I think I'm more nostalgic about London than I am the other way. So one was more about reminding me, you know, to keep writing and what to keep writing about. But the other was more sentimental, I guess, a, a kind of a, a little um, incense type, musky type room spray that we use, that they, uh, my flatmate bought me. It reminds me of her, it reminds me of that period, it reminds me, yeah. So I, I you know, the scent is gone, but I, I kept the, uh, the object, yeah. My name is Shara Hamdin. I come from Bangladesh. I bring uh, some tree. This is a gift for my friend. Yeah, this, this, this <coughs> tree... Uh, this tea is, you know, in, uh, what he wants to say is, uh, tea is uh, his country and he is from the district of Silet. So that country, that village, is so he living. So he brings some tea from, from here, but he uh, don't know about the, about the technology, it's uh, England. So that tea is uh, here, is a Lipton, you can say the Lipton. Uh, yeah. I want to take uh, this one refined machine. By my country is a lot of tea garden. There are the, a lot of people making hand, hand tree. That's why I want to, I am thinking 
when I go back to my country, that time I uh, take one refined machine and uh, I want to try to uh, make a business. Uh, maybe this one good for us. Lucy from Paris. I came, I came with a full car when I arrived. All my books, I've got like all my fabrics, all my um, all my little objects. I do textile, lots of sewing, so I've got billions of buttons. Uh, yeah, all sewing stuff. Lots of things that I don't use every day. Everything that I would have in my home is here. Okay. Do you remember London? Uh, I don't think I would have one specific object as a, as a reminder, but it's more I've produced and I've collected so many things during those three years that I've got a bit of London in everywhere, as I have a bit of Paris everywhere in all my things. Like just my work, for example. It's always going to remind me London because I did it here. My name is Theo, I'm from South Africa. From my country to London, something very African that I grew up with, which is either like a giraffe statue or a mask from all the different tribes, and my food. I miss my South African food. Cured, dry, raw meat, which is sotong a lot, and our chutneys and our sauces. Um, I would say that's what I would bring from South Africa to London to remind me of home, yeah. If I would have to leave London, um, my pictures, definitely, my framed pictures, and also, I don't know, it's very difficult. I think yeah. it's memories. memories. It's not really something materialistic. You can't really take it away. There are some items from concerts that I would never, ever lose and never want to give away because it's very good memories. And my first paycheck, I bought a digital camera. So that digital camera, I will never ever sell or go away. My name is Judy, from China. Oh, oh some music, yeah, yeah. yeah. from Hong Kong, yes. Yes, mainly it's uh, it's an instrument to play. It's a uh, mainly, it's, uh, I think it's a kind of um, instrument with uh, some Western, uh, you know, the uh, Oriental country. This is a uh, folk music. Um, people, for example, the uh, attitude for working and more patient, more kindly. I think Chinese, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but this is something different civilization. Mm -hmm. So I, I have to appreciate that. So the good point of view is probably a bottle of whiskey because whiskey. this is a this is a different uh, from what we have alcohol. Is a we have a small, uh, like a not water cup, but it's uh, not colorful, and it's a new for a lot of Chinese people. Mm -hmm. So we bring that as a gift. My name is Philip. I'm from Dublin. Dublin. Okay. I brought my double base, uh, three quarter size, uh, which I bought in Dublin. It's uh, kind of a dark brown color. This is what I took over. So this is the double base. Um, most of the bands that come in, or some of the bands that I know, I let them use it. Um, and basically, that's how you play it. Uh, you can't stand on it. Put your foot up. I'm not going to do it here because I don't have the height. Put your other foot up here, and you can play it. Um, I basically use it for rockabilly, rock and roll, jazz, swing, and some punk. My name is Dick. I'm from Kazakhstan. Uh, I bring gadgets, it's in history, it's called a man, it's called what I'll take, it's for my parents, it's a tea, English tea, because it's a very famous English tea in our country. But I think most of what I will take here is that I, the experience that I have here, that I had here already, the, the time I spent here, the memory, you know, I think this is the best thing what I will take with me. Named Ishmael. Well, that mango that reminds me of uh, back home, where I come from. That's that in India. I'm very sweet mango. Yeah. And we got we get some from India, and some from Jamaica, or well, from here. Yeah. I don't know. Man. The work and the atmosphere and the weather, in the, especially in the summer, yeah. is much better. Plus here, it's not like a it's not like a hectic. It's a peaceful life. And what one thing most remind me when I go back is the traffic because there in the traffic is too much hooting going on you see here is when you're driving it's nice peaceful 
If I have a choice to take it with me, I take the traffic with me.